Hey guys, welcome back to another morning. I'm just getting cleaned up and set up for the day. Today is Saturday. I didn't actually work yesterday as planned because there was a huge snowstorm. So today the roads really still aren't great and my first client is coming from quite a ways outside of town. So we will see if she's able to make it. We've already been in contact. She's gonna let me know if she can get out of her community. One of the perks of living where we live is the fact that it's so rural. Very few, I would say, I don't know any numbers of course, but very few of our population actually live within town or within town limits. I am lucky, like I grew up 25 minutes outside of town on kind of a bad road um, or a notor notorious road maybe. And now I live about 10 minutes outside of town on sometimes an equally as bad road depending on the weather. Anyway, I would say she might make it, she might not make it. If she doesn't know pressure at all, I never put pressure on people to try to get here when the weather isn't great because I certainly would not want that done to me. Today I'm doing clients back to back to back and then I have an event to go to. Would love to be able to take you along. I'm going to see. I'm going to a dinner first and then an event like early this afternoon and it's going to be so lovely. A friend of mine is opening a place called the Soul Healing Center. Uh, she's having her open house today. I would love to try to take you with me. It is gonna depend on how many people that are there. It's a fairly like medium to small place and or space and it's looking like there's a lot of people that wanna come. So we'll see about that. If you see the footage, it happened. My new thing, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure I haven't told the camera this yet, is going to Tim Hortons in the morning, okay. When, when I say to you, I have not been to a Tim Hortons in the morning before work in like five to seven years more. We're gonna say seven. In seven years, you know, maybe I've gone through in the afternoon when I've had a break, especially in the summer and wanted an iced coffee. I can remember doing that last year. But as far as going, you know, like regular, in the mornings, I have not done that. And then, on my day off this week, I came to town. And I was like, I want an Americano coffee. Why? We're not sure. I'm trying super, super hard to watch what I eat as far as my gluten intake. And um, while I'm at it, I may as well watch everything else. You know, I'm, I was eating terribly because when I realized gluten-free was non-negotiable for me, I bought all the gluten-free cookies and all the gluten-free, not cakes, but you know what I mean, all the cakes, cookies, and otherwise, right? I bought all of that stuff and I was just going to that stuff and it was a lot of sugar and anyway, I'm sure this is boring for you. Would like to get away from so much coffee creamer because when I use it, I use a lot of it. <laughs> So, obviously I haven't drank this yet or I'd be making more sense, but I have an Americano. I would love to get a short set of nails on my nails. It's not gonna be today, but at some point, I have errands to run after the event today and I'm hoping um, maybe that means that when I get home, I can stay there. It should, it should. I'll be able to get everything done. Uh, and then I'll be home, but hopefully I'll get enough footage for you guys today, I think about. I think it will. Anyway, see you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Not only is it another day, it is another week. And I'm going to do my nails. They have been not done for a couple of weeks. Probably I had a set on, they were really long. They were French and I was tattooing that weekend and really needed them filled so badly. They were they were long and they were at the point that if I like touched them, they were kind of hurting. I was scared I was going to snap one. They've been on for probably like four weeks, which is way too long for that length. So I just took them off because I didn't really have time to fill them. And I knew that if I did, they wouldn't be filled right. And it just it wasn't gonna be good. I am going to do them now. Now I was going to add length, like I was 
is going to do the whole thing. I would show you, but they're awful. But instead of doing that, I think, these bangs aren't working out for me. I think I'm going to just do them at the length they are and not add any length to them. I'm going to do like a builder in a bottle uh, sort of situation. I have my Glitter Bells brush on builder gel, which I was supposed to do my Glitter Bells order at the end of last week and I did not. We need to do that before the end of this vlog. I just keep forgetting and then I sit down to do it and something else comes up. Like I was going to do it and then there was just something else that I had to do instead. Then I kind of waited and then before you know it I forget and you guys know, you guys know. I'm trying to, I normally wear my bangs like and these I feel like look good in the mirror, but not so good on camera. The bangs. Okay, I am going to go ahead and start this process. The first thing I'm going to do is cuticle work because these seriously have had zero attention paid to them in a very long time. I'm gonna get started at it. I'm hoping that because I do this, it's going to allow me to stop picking because when I'm not wearing nails, when I'm wearing nails, I never think to pick. I don't pick, I don't bother them. I don't, I just don't. And it doesn't bother me a bit to not. But when I'm not wearing nails, like the second these come off, I swear, I am just picking, picking, picking to the point where it's it's really awful. So you guys that are pickers know, it doesn't matter if you're a nail tech. It doesn't matter what you do. If you're a picker, you're a picker. And as much as I tried not to, I just was. Now that I eat better and am staying away from certain things, and because of that, I'm just generally eating healthier, it does actually help my hands, my skin in general, quite a bit. I'm noticing that it's not so dry, uh, which I think is really interesting because I just assumed my whole life that that was the card I was dealt, as I think we do, right? We do that. We just assume those that's the hand I'm dealt. My skin is, like we're not talking drastic, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say my skin is a solid 30% better which for somebody who has like, you know, using something like Eucerin or Gold Bond um, medicated lotions twice a day, uh, head to toe because how dry it is, that's, that's pretty darn good, I think. You know, a 30% increase, decrease is good. Anyway, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put on my 90s playlist because that's what we listen to around here. And I am gonna get to it. Before I end up showing you uh, what I end up making out of my nails, I want to insert a picture of this tree. You guys know what this tree looks like. I'm gonna try to go back on a vlog and see if I can get a picture of it in like this angle because it was like nearly the color of the walls. It was so dirty with nail dust. I took it home, thought it was gonna be a huge job. So in a vlog, I took it home. I put a garbage bag over it, took it home. And I used the air compressor and blew the dust off it as much as I could, like at a low intensity. And then I put it in the shower, I got it wet, sprayed it down with Dawn Power Wash, gave it a few seconds and then sprayed it off again, let it dry, it dried in like five minutes. Look how green that is. I didn't even know that it looked that good like when I first got it, let alone now. It's amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know, wash your plants. <laughs> We're done with that. I went with the Beamy Beauty Box, color 02R02. This red collection, I've spoke on it before, but I'm not gonna stop. 
is amazing, get them all. Like, if you can still get it as a collection. Uh, Kathy, if you're watching, can you still get it as a collection? I'm fairly certain you can still get them separately. Uh, these I purchased from AR Nail Supply um, in Ontario, Canada. If you are not a licensed nail tech, you can also purchase from part of their website. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. However, you can sign up as a non-professional, which I think is really, uh, don't judge me by my cup. Please don't judge me by my cup. Not the inside of it anyway. You can judge me by the outside. I like that. But you can do like a non-professional uh, like um, account. And I believe you can order Be Me from the non-professional. Get the reds, get all the reds. This is number two. If you can't get all the reds, get number two. This is the red. It just looks good on everybody. Like it just is good for everybody. I am on a red kick right now. I used Protein Bond as a prep underneath my Glitter Bells um, Cotton Candy Brush On Builder Gel. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And for a top coat, I used the Glitter Bells Rubber Top Gel all from the nail throne there's a link below and there's a discount code make sure you go use that i am now gonna wipe off the dispersion film i left it for a bit hi i have a hangnail and i just found it that took me gosh i didn't really time it that took me all of about i don't know half an hour so i just did two coats of the brush on builder gel and i just brushed it on like a base and then allowed it to breathe for a second and now that I have them wiped, I'm gonna wash my hands really, really, really well because I have a bit of an allergy to the dispersion film. Really bothers my hands, so it makes them swell up a little bit. That, it's overexposure. I've been doing this for more than 20 years. When I was teaching it, there was a lot of undercuring and a lot of like getting onto the skin and I didn't glove properly. I didn't, um, kind of safeguard myself when I was teaching and that's when it really showed up. Between that and a lot of like, I don't wanna scratch my face, a lot of like if something was under cured and then the girls were filing on it or then I was filing on it. Um, teaching isn't always as glamorous, it's not the right word, as it <laughs> looks online. Like it's very real and, and it's pretty raw sometimes and uh, sometimes you're doing a lot of filing and sometimes you're doing you know you are working on stuff that's uncured or major dispersion film or 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 the school that I taught at too wanted to use um sometimes fairly inexpensive products which we all know how that goes. I mean, it's not as bad as it used to be, right? But there was a time when if you had an inexpensive product, it was really crap. Okay, let's get these hands washed. Moving on, I'm gonna put some headphones in, assuming these are charged. I don't know where the ones I want are. Essentially, these aren't the ones I want either, but we're gonna make it work. I was going to use these, I still might, because these Skull Candy are old but they work so well and they're so noise canceling that i actually can't quite like, hear anything else anyway what i'm trying to tell you that i'm going to do my amazon package was just delivered is my costco baby wipes they're excellent another artist told me about those have my machine you gotta do what you gotta do. I travel my machine back and forth to work because back and forth to where I tattoo, but I don't leave it here because I don't have space, so I take everything home. I wanted something to put it in to keep it safe. So it is actually in here, wrapped in paper towel. This is my case for my, um, what are they called, Terragun, like massager um, thing. So anyway, you gotta do what you gotta do. I brought Rushmore Magenta, it's super bright pink and demon red i was just looking for a couple of colors i've just been working on um i have some practice sheets here one of them is more for lining so just lining like it just i know that they're not lips but i have the practice lips at home and i 
do love those but these i find teach help me steady myself lining in whatever direction i find that helpful pigment cups the rings oh there's another one i'll just use that one i always keep loose pigment cups in here the ones that i use on people are not out of here i just feel like i need to say that with the brown for freckles the other brand for freckles the needles that go with that machine so far i have learned that i like the tina davies needles better this may mean nothing to you but these are the needles that are made by the same people that make my machine not that i don't like them i do it's actually just the little gripper that i prefer on the ends of the Tina Davies needles. I'm gonna get this out and get some practice in before my next nail client. And I'll see you then.